Now it could be said that manual focus is one of the most challenging things to learn when shooting with vintage lenses, and I would have to agree with that for the most part. It is a skill, and if you give it a bit of time, you'd be surprised how quickly your perception of it can change, especially if you're shooting with a mirrorless camera body, as they tend to come with a nice little bag of tricks to help make that transition a little easier. What's up guys, my name is Mark, and I shoot all of my vintage lenses on a full-frame Sony mirrorless camera. as well as my Canon C100 Mark II. Now the one big advantage these camera systems have over say a DSLR is the fact that the image we see in our viewfinder isn't an optical one. It's digital and because of that, most mirrorless cameras have manual focusing aids like peaking and focus zoom that make manual focusing much easier. Peaking is an option available on most mirrorless cameras. On the Sony, you can find it in the menu and settings tab, peaking level. Now I've got mine switched to high because, let's be honest, I need all the help I can get. Now peaking will visually outline the edges of the most in-focus areas of your shot in real time and it works by detecting the area of the most contrast between pixels, which allows it to determine what region is most in focus. And you can see in real time how it works. As I shift the focus of the lens, the in focus area starts to be highlighted. The higher the intensity, the sharper the focus. Changing the peaking color is also possible. but I personally find the red to be the most useful for me. As handy as peaking is, it isn't an option found on all mirrorless cameras, and I only really use it as a first step to manually focusing my shots. I always combine the peaking function with focus zoom, which is an option found on pretty much all mirrorless cameras. Focus zoom digitally zooms into a specific area of your shot. On the Sony, there are two stages of zoom. The first is at 4.2 times magnification, and the second is at 8.3. When zoomed in this far, it's really easy to fine tune your focus and make sure your subject is razor sharp, especially critical when shooting wide open on a fast lens where the focus plane is wafer thin. Wafer thin. Wafer thin little Monty Python reference. Oh, yeah. With Elfine. Now, one nice thing about this feature is that when you engage it, it will give you an area rectangle that you can adjust the position of. And this is particularly useful because you're not always framing something front and center. Now, I would personally recommend setting a custom hotkey for this feature. I use it all the time and being able to cycle through it quickly and on the fly is critical. Now technology is great, but in almost every form of artistic expression, technique goes a long way. One of the things that helped me with manual focusing is really getting to know the lens. Knowing which way to turn the lens if my subject is moving toward or away from me makes tracking focus on them much easier. How you move the focus is critical, especially if you're shooting video. Keep the movements controlled and deliberate and you can make it part of the storytelling process in many instances. The wider or faster you set the lens aperture, the narrower the focus plane and that makes landing focus on a moving subject more challenging. It's easier to practice with a narrower or slower aperture as it gives you a bit more wiggle room until you start to feel more confident. Now, whether you're shooting photography or videography, vintage or modern, 
Manual focusing is a skill to learn as many circumstances require manual focus mode. Shooting in low light, shooting through foreground objects, or shooting an out of focus subject, manual focus is sometimes the best way to do it. And having that full control over your frame is really liberating. It's a great way to practice your skills, even if you only up getting mediocre shots, you will begin to understand your equipment better. It also helps you think before each shot, which can help you grow as a visual storyteller. Now I'd love to hear how you guys like to shoot. Does manual focus intimidate you? Do you have any useful tips on how you approach a subject using manual focus? Leave it down below, I'd, I'd love to see what you guys have to say. Well, that's it. I hope you guys found some value in this video and happy new year, by the way. Gosh, I can't believe it's 2019. But 1999 was 20 years ago. 20 years, that's crazy. All right guys, well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ah, it's 20 years. <laughs>